Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Taito Ecology. So since the last time we played this game, the developers released the full 1.10 update, which brings a whole bunch of new features to the game. And I thought the rainforest would be a good place to start with because we did have a bit of trouble last time we were here with the agotes. And as you can see, it hasn't gotten any better. These agotes are absolutely everywhere. I was hoping all of these big cats would kind of help with the situation, but apparently they're still having a little bit of trouble just managing all of the agotes that are just completely flooding the place. This is crazy how many we have here. But as far as the new features go and the new textures too, look at this. The ocelot is all different too. He still has that bob to his walk though, which is adorable. Um, the new features of the game. So apparently the predators can now share carcasses, which is pretty good. If we click on one of these dead goatees down here, then we should be able to see some um, meat points. There we go. So in one week, this dead goatee will be um, all decayed. It will become detritus, but it has 30 meat points still on it at the moment. And <laughs> oh my gosh, there's little baby goatees running around in the background. This is just chaos here, guys. All of the food has been eaten away over here too if you've noticed like all of the plants that were here are completely gone and all we have are just all of these tiny little goatees running around like scavenging for meals at the moment i think they're all currently like rushing over to this area to try to get a little uh, bite to eat on these flowers oh dear there's like one agote per flower over here too this is quite bizarre and they're dead agotees what on earth <laughs> did they all starve over here that is so sad well not too sad i guess because we do want them to kind of disappear at the moment. But yes, they are all rushing straight over to munch on these orchids, um, which is, I believe, what they are. And they are certainly doing a good job at that. That's probably why the uh, flowers are gone at the moment. There's just little uh, leaves left on the bottom. So how many agotes do we actually have in here? Because it seems like quite a bit, doesn't it? There's 26 juveniles in this group. There's only two in this one. That's kind of crazy. Though one of the other changes they made to this game is that you can now have territories crossbreed between each other. So even if we got down to one agote left in this territory and one agote left in this territory, it is still possible because they're so close together that they could crossbreed and continue to uh, keep reproducing basically so we wouldn't be able to completely kill off the agotes like we were able to do with the deer mice and the grasslands and that is definitely worrying. That's kind of why I wanted to start in this biome for this update because this is definitely where we're going to see if that's going to become an issue. And look at this Kodamundi! Look at him run! Oh my gosh, oh, <laughs> he was saying hi to the little guy. And look at that. You know, I think that's the icon that they were talking about in the uh, game update as well. So if this icon appears above a uh, herbivore's head, that means that they have successfully escaped from being eaten by one of their predators. And um, that means that predators can now fail hunts. So it can be a little bit harder for them to find food. And look at that, there's literally an agote for every single organ again. Why are they doing that? That is adorable though. <laughs> They're all like curled up inside all of these little orchids. Oh my gosh, and this guy is this, um, it's not our leopard, it is our jaguar, right? Or is it our cougar? This is our cougar, okay, look at you, sir. Just marching right along, looking for some more goatees, I guess, to snack on. Are our jaguars still okay, though? Um, there's our ocelots back there who are kind of having a little bit of trouble. Though, again, if we have another group of ocelots, then they could crossbreed. Um, it looks like that we that we do, and you can tell that they can reach each other because it doesn't say that they can't reproduce anymore. So these two territories of ocelots will be able to crossbreed with each other, and um, eventually they'll be able to have babies. So our ocelot population shouldn't completely disappear unless one of the other big cats decides to uh, destroy them in the meantime. And here's our jaguars. Okay, so both of them are still alive and well in this territory, though I haven't seen them yet. Um, hopefully we can find them soon though because I would like to see their new textures and this tree that I placed right on the water Here you go <laughs> This one's pretty nice. I believe this is actually where we left the Jaguars. It doesn't look like they're here right now So they weren't too impressed with the place um, let's take a quick look at our notifications too before we uh, keep looking for them. It looks like our fish need to be restocked, so we should probably do that. Though I'm wondering if we should actually leave them. Um, oh gosh, is that the uh, jaguar right there? Is that actually the jaguar by the water? Um, I think it is. There we go. So we managed to find one of them at least. And you are looking very regal in the rainforest. Look at you, just prancing along like all of your other cat friends. <laughs> I'm sure he's looking for a meal as well. 
Though it kind of seems like he's in the wrong place for that, doesn't it? I mean, he should probably be going uh, toward this area, way over here in zone one where all of our goatees are. I have a feeling he might be the one who was fishing um, all of the fish away in this river if he was coming from this location. That's probably true. Unless he happened to do a snack on one of the ocelots, that's also a possibility. And here's our other territory. And of course, those two are doing just fine as well. Um, I would like it if we had some more predators in here anyway to help take care of those agotis, so I'm certainly happy with them uh, being able to reproduce soon. And this tree, look at this! This one's so cool, I love the little dots of uh, colors in there, those are probably fruit, right? This is the strangler fig, okay, that one is really neat. Oh my gosh, like the rainforest looks so much more colorful now actually since the update, since they fixed all the um, textures, it looks so much more colorful than it did before and it really reminds me of like what a rainforest is supposed to look like, I guess, <laughs> with all of those colors that you would typically see. Um, I'm not going to place anything over here. I know it looks very bare over here compared to the other side of our biome, but I don't want to give these guys any more food to eat. Um, I guess if worse comes to worse, we're just going to starve these guys off like we did for our deer mice. That was basically the only thing that I could do when it got that bad. And I'm kind of worried that that might be the situation right here. The Warcota Mundies are really doing a pretty good job, like, just moving in on this group. They are omnivores, so they could eat... Um, the plants if they want to, but this is like a mass migration here right now of the agotis. Look at this. They're all running. <laughs> running as fast as they can for the uh, food, it looks like. That is crazy. Okay, they're running for the mushrooms over here. That's not surprising. You guys, like, there's too many mouths over here for this one mushroom. You're gonna have to duke it out, I guess. See who's gonna be able to eat the mushroom. Um, it looks like they're all just kind of like staring at it right now. <laughs> they're not really sure who's going to be the one who gets to uh, eat it, I guess. Looks like the little babies are probably going to uh, fill their stomachs, I have a feeling. And okay, there is another predator going after something. So let's see. Um, okay, did he actually get the meal? No, it ran away again. Okay, so this is interesting. Like, it seems like a lot of these creatures are just running away right now. It seems like the agotis are very hard to pin down. Though he's just going right back out again. Okay, let's see if he can catch this one. Hopefully, hopefully he's gonna catch it. Um, oh, I, I think he missed it again. Is it really gonna run away? I was thinking about it. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, he just didn't want to eat it, I guess. All right. Well, that's interesting. No, don't kill our Kodamundis. Oh, Jaguar, why would you do that? The Kodamundi could have helped us. Oh my gosh, and he ate all the meat too. He just completely consumed it in like one bite. So apparently, like I said, the predators can actually share. Um, <laughs> don't kill my Kodamundis. What are you doing? Go after the Agotis. There are so many of them here, honestly. Um, okay, he got that guy, I think. Did he get him? He's just going to sleep. Oh, this is strange, guys. This is very strange. Like, I am on a mission now to find a predator that can actually take down one of these guys. Because so far, it hasn't seemed to uh, work. Okay, <laughs> this is a little bit worrying. Maybe the cougar will have a better shot? Let's see if the cougar can take down something. Um, oh gosh, they're all in the water over here, aren't they? I don't think it worked too. Like, they seem to be sleeping down here. And I don't think he caught whatever it was. Oh gosh, this is really worrying because if they can't catch the food, then all of our predators are going to starve too. And if they all starve off, then it just leaves the agotes to absolutely take over this entire land. So we definitely need to uh, make sure that they're able to catch these creatures. Uh, maybe we should place another group of something like right in the middle of uh, these guys right here. Let's see, what could possibly eat our agotes? The cats aren't having any luck, so is there anything else that we could place in here in the meantime? Um, the collared peccary is an omnivore, so I suppose it is possible that they could like to uh, munch on these guys. So let's give it a try. We might as well. We'll plop them right here. Oh my gosh, they have a huge territory. Okay, I was a little bit worried that like if they really did prefer um, plants that they wouldn't have anything to eat, but they certainly have the pick of the biome. That's like literally half the biome right there. So we'll see if they're able to possibly take down some agotis, if that's like part of their fancy here, if they were like a little agotis snack. Um, it seems like that guy might be running straight for the uh, the bushes over there, so I don't think we should follow that guy. But maybe one of these will go after someone? Um, oh my gosh, look how tiny the ocelot is compared to this guy! Oh my gosh! <laughs> That is adorable. He's like a tiny little baby kitten. Oh my gosh, I hope the cougar doesn't decide to just like take him down. 
Um, it looks like they're okay though. I can't really tell if they caught anyone in this group because they're so clustered together and I just see all of those Z's. So I'm not really sure if they managed to uh, actually take down any, any of these agotes. It doesn't seem like it though. Like it really seems like they're having a lot of trouble now actually catching food. And I'm worried that means that they're going to starve off. Um, our ocelot's so hungry. Oh my gosh, guys. Like I really wish I could just drop a little piece of meat in here. Um, okay, so this agote actually had all of its meat eaten, it looks like, and it's now decaying. And because we don't have any ants in the area, um, the ants are way back here, in fact, they um, can't pick up that uh, skeleton. So we might want to add another group of ants in here. I did read that they changed the ants to decomposers. So we'll be able to plop these down on this side and hopefully they'll be able to take care of those carcasses that are popping up there. It looks like it also shows us exactly how much detritus these individual creatures help with. So the millipedes and the earthworms seem to uh, be very, very good for taking care of detritus levels. So if we happen to have another situation where the detritus just goes out of control, then we'll have to make sure that we add in more earthworms and millipedes, it looks like. Oh my gosh, please wake up. <laughs> please wake up and try to, like, grab one of these guys. I mean, honestly, like, this one agote with her brood of agote babies right now, and now they're all running away. You've missed your chance, little ocelot. They're all running off for some more food. Oh, that's so sad. But there is some meat over here. Can you eat out of this? Yeah, okay, so there's 30 meat points here. Um, it looks like there's some over here as well. Yep, okay, so it, maybe someone did catch one of the agotes, but unfortunately our ocelot just isn't eating right now. So hopefully he wakes up soon to have some breakfast. This guy is strolling along, taking a look at all of, um, oh gosh, he's looking at our uh, Kodamundis again, isn't he? I think he's seriously like eyeing up this Kodamundi right now. You need to go after the agotes, honestly, you're not helping me. Oh? Oh, did you, uh, did you actually listen to me there? Whoa, oh my gosh, he actually listened to me, okay. Well, I'm very happy with that. It doesn't look like you caught that guy, but I'm very happy that you're listening. Um, oh my gosh, the agotes, like there's just so much going on on the screen right now, it's crazy. It definitely feels like the deer mouse situation yet again, and there he goes, wandering off. So this combined with the fact that the territories can crossbreed does concern me quite a bit, because if the predators are having so much trouble just pinning down these little guys, and um, these guys are not starving off fast enough, then they're just going to keep reproducing and reproducing between these two different territories. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen with these guys. I'm not really sure. Hopefully it's not going to get to the level of the deer mice, but I guess we won't know until that happens, until we either wipe them out or until they completely destroy the place. Um, how about these guys? How are they doing? Um, actually, these guys are well under control. So it might be that our predators decided to like eat these first because yeah, we have the cougars over here. Um, it does seem like we have more goatees than that territory actually told us. Um, ten in here. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure if this is another weird, um, invisible territory situation or not. But it does seem like we have quite a few of goatees around there. Not as bad as over here, though. You have to, uh, give it that. We have another group way over here. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, oh, okay, so here we go. This is a group that is completely separated from all of the other agotes. This is a group that is completely on its own and it only has one adult at the moment. 14 juveniles, but one adult. So if the juveniles can like grow up before um, <laughs> these big cats over here can possibly munch them all away, then this territory will be fine. But um, if they get destroyed first and we're left with like just, just this one um, adult here, then it will not be able to reproduce unless we place another agote territory in the area, which I am not going to do. I am certainly not going to give the agotes any more control over this biome because we need to like shoo them out of here as fast as possible. Um, the Kodamundis, at least they're omnivores so they can get a little bit to uh, eat if they happen to fail too many of their hunts. But it is nice to see that they're kind of sticking around the agotes, so it might be that they are actually attempting to uh, clear out the area as well. And I do like to see all of these cats over here taking a look at all of the agotes. This guy's sniffing the air now, seeing if he can find anything good. Of course, there's so much in the area that I'm sure you're not going to have a problem with that. 
Um, let's see, has anyone managed to catch anything else? There's something over here. That's a dead goatee. That's good to see. And uh, this guy may have caught something. Okay, it looks like he was actually eating, but um, they're again, they're like so clustered together that I can't even begin to uh, click on all of them to see if one of them happened to be eaten. Um, but it did look like he was down there crouching, eating something. So it, maybe, maybe. I mean, it seems like they seem to uh, fail more hunts than they do, than they actually succeed. Um, but that is, I mean, pretty close to real life, so it gives you the uh, realistic aspect of it too because most hunts are actually failed by these guys. It is very hard for big predators, big apex predators to uh, feed themselves in the wild, so it does make sense. It doesn't really help us in this situation, but it definitely makes sense. I wonder if I should place another predator over here too because I'm not sure if the collared peccaries are really helping us right now. It didn't really seem like they were going after anything. Um, let's follow this guy for a little while to kind of, uh, oh my gosh, look at his walk too, kicking up his little hind legs. You are adorable, sir. You remind me of Pumbaa. <laughs> you are just so cute. Um, let's see if he's going to go after anything though. Hopefully he's going to go after something. Um, and hopefully not this guy for that matter. It did say that the collared peccaries were large omnivores, so they should theoretically be able to eat the agotes anyway, because the agotes are small. So hopefully, oh my gosh, and these guys are having like a little meeting over here. Yeah, I think that's the dead agote down there, so it looks like the ocelot did manage to actually take it down, which is excellent. Yep, there it goes. It already started uh, decaying over there. Um, this guy's taking a sweet time though. I guess I picked the wrong collared peccary to follow. Uh, maybe there's another one that we can look at. There's a bunch over here kind of wandering around, but it doesn't look like they're too interested in anything. That's kind of disappointing. Um, the agotes are definitely on the move though. They are moving further and further out, eating as much as they can get their greedy little paws on. Um, how far is their territory actually? Let's see, so this group over here can reach these areas, um, but I think like this group in particular, these groups way over here should be starving off soon because they are literally at the edge of their territories. So I can't imagine that they would be able to survive much longer with so little food. Um, but I am okay with that. If what it takes to get rid of these agotes is just starving them off, then that's probably the way to do it. Um, we'll just hope that it happens fast enough, I guess, before all of those uh, little goatees can keep reproducing. And before anything can spread over here, too, because that was another situation that I had with the deer mice. Like, by the time um, I actually got them to start dying off of starvation... Um, oh, look at that. that. Okay, so that guy missed that one. He is definitely um, on the move for these goatees, though. But yeah, by the time they finally started dying off to uh, starvation, the moths would pollinate all of the grass and it would begin to spread back into the area and they would get a little bit more food to eat and then they would survive for a little bit longer. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen here. Um, I like that the predators at least keep trying to eat as fast as they can, even though they keep missing. Like, they do go back and they do try again, so we don't have to uh, worry about them completely starving off, it looks like. We haven't really seen any of the predators starve since this update, even though it seems like they're missing a lot of food. So I think we're okay, and I think it helps that they can share the meals now, too. So if a cougar catches a meal and uh, leaves the rest of the meat on the ground, then an ocelot can just wander by and pick up some meat of its own. And um, again, that's actually very close to real life, so it makes the game a little bit more realistic in that aspect as well. And there's our tiny little baby ocelot. <laughs> Not really a baby, but it's so small that it makes me think of like a tiny little kitten, especially when it's next to the big cats. Um, these guys are kind of interacting over here. I wish they would move closer to zone one, but uh, they are giving each other a very respectful distance. They are respecting each other's territory. They're not trying to uh, go after each other right now, at least. So that's good to see. I have a feeling once they start having babies, that'll be different. And don't you dare. No. Okay, the ocelot managed to get away. I mean, that's a plus of this update right there. That's a big plus that the ocelot can actually like run away from our awful jaguars now because the jaguars definitely like to ambush these guys. They definitely are not friends. And I mean, it makes sense. This guy's so tiny that he's just like a little snack for this guy. But that's interesting, guys. So this update is pretty, pretty neat. I mean, it's a huge update. It changes a lot of things about this game, a lot of the ways that um, the mechanics work. And it's going to be, um, a, it's going to take a little while to get used to, especially when we have situations on our hands like this, where all of the agotes are just running away from our predators when they come straight up to them. So it's going to be a little bit harder to get rid 
of them in the future, but we'll find a way around it. We'll definitely find a way to balance this out a little bit better. And after I drop in one more predator here, we're going to pick out one more predator to a place in. The last two creatures we have to unlock are just herbivores, so they're unfortunately not going to help us. But I think what I might do is place in another group of ocelots because I definitely want these guys to survive and thrive. I love these tiny little baby kittens here. I love these guys. So we'll place them way back here. That way they can interact with some of the other ocelot territories and they will be able to crossbreed if we ever need that to uh, happen. And we know that the uh, big cats love to munch on these guys. So I'm not really worried about them going completely off the walls out of control. <laughs> Too many uh, ocelots in the area because we know that the big cats would put a stop to that if these guys started encroaching upon their territory. So it should be okay. And of course, look at this lovely picture here of our predator just snoozing right next to our goatees. Honestly, guys, my lazy, lazy cats of the rainforest are never here to help me when I need them, are they? <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys!